movies. Oh my god. Tom of Finland. Oh sh. Ias. What? No way. What? Ias. <laughs> no. What? Asking you to stay, I don't want you to see past the stars right now. Cause all I ask from you is to not reach behind the sun when I want you to feel. So Heirloom was quite a journey for us throughout 2017 and early 2018. We traveled to Colorado and Michigan's Upper Peninsula and we kind of just soaked up things that are not usually around mountains and you know Michigan's lakes that you know it's cool to just kind of unwind and soak up a camping experience amongst all of us. Along the way we wanted to incorporate a topic that is so ubiquitous across the globe. Heirloom kind of summed that up, kind of just represented where we're at in this point in time and our production skills and just being all together and incorporating a message that was bigger than ourselves. It was our first song of 2018 and kind of just set the tone for the rest of the year. Then I'm taking hits, so when is everybody gonna call it quits, do you think? I'll just stay the same and feel that it's down the line Heirloom was the most important to each of us and we just wanted to get it out the right way because it means so much to us so we wanted the instrumentation to match the intensity and the emotion of the lyrics. Well, with that we were just kind of, we were listening to a lot of soundtracks. We were inspired by Hans Zimmer, Planet Earth. You watch Planet Earth, you just, you feel the beauty of whatever you're looking at and we wanted people to listen to the song and for it to take them to a place that felt beautiful. production we've had thus far. I'd say it took us about seven months start to release date. During those seven months a lot of things inspired us. We went on trips to Colorado, went up north to the UP. We just wanted to get out and just be out and explore and make sense of heirloom. The song is based on preserving our planet and heirloom so we just wanted to experience everything, be out there and understand why this world is what it is. I'm asking you to stay Why? Asking you to change Why? There's more than meets the eye With me Being in the city was also something that kind of felt pulled to the message it wasn't so general, you know, about this planet, but also on a more micro scale compared to the Detroit and just staying here, dealing with your problems instead of looking to the stars for, for another option. Detroit is, you know, so inspiring to us and we want to be in the city, we want to support the city and we want to dedicate our lives and our, you know, our passion and, and go for it. And that's what Heirloom kind of represents for us, for us as a whole. there wasn't a plan B, would anything change? We're meant to stay. We're meant to stay. The earth is our heirloom. Heirloom for me signified the beginning. 
beginning of the journey with with Sias. Being able to be there for basically the start and finish of the song showed me Heirloom is just more than a song. It's more than lyrics and a beat. How much passion, thought, just everything that portrays this message that this world is in need of positivity and more good. For the visuals, I wanted to create our own world in a way that you don't really see it. People so often just get caught up in their daily routines of just going to work, going home, going to bed, and just repeating. And rarely do they, they ever get the chance to get out and experience the beauty of this world. The most important thing that we wanted for this song was for the instrumentation to match the intensity and the emotion of the lyrics. So to do that we added strings. After we added strings, it just felt natural to bring in cello. So we had the electronic strings from East West, and then we added Kellen Degnan on the cello. <laughs> like Kellen who did cello on Wild and Origin and it was cool to have him back and record cello for, for Heirloom. It was so cool listening back to it and it was hard to pick through it because everything sounded so good and sometimes that, those are the things that take so long. percussion, those things all just kind of fell into place so quickly. Having Ryan play the Turkish percussion on it really brought it to a new level. Yeah, we'll do singular hits of this and that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, cool, yeah. Let's try, let's try a few of those. spur of the moment, the snare drum, the main snare of the song is literally like 12 little pieces of wood that actually came from this desk right behind me. I was cutting up the desk one day, I dropped the pieces of wood by accident, I was like, oh, huh, that could be kind of cool, I never know. So it ended up being a piece, a big piece of heirloom. We recorded the wood snare in here, and this is our wood snare right here. So, we just pretty much loop it, and then we added some ice snare, right here, and this just kind of like added some high end to it. Which is a cup of ice. And then we added a few other, like just more synthetic snares, and then we get this. You can even solo on it. Just kind of clocky, earthy, organic snare, 
And then the best part is we added some reverb. And that's the fun part. It just makes it lush, earthy, organic, and really key to the song. So we at first have our kick, which was just a layer of a bunch of kicks that we put together. Scott found one, Haley found one, I did. And we just made this really big, kind of earthy kick here. And then next we have the snare. And the snare was just, you know, I just talked about it with the ice, the wood, and then just some synthetic snares that we put together. And then the percussion really brought a lot of color and life to the beat. And it was cool because Ryan just killed the 16th on that and just kept the motion and made it really world. And then the rise and the shakers just kind of brought in the high end of things. And as well as the east-west percussion as well. Also we added in the marimba, which was kind of one of the last things that we put on and it just worked. It just kind of like fit right in there. It was like a bright twinkly sound that like fit on the high end and just worked really well. Mixing and mastering is really fun for us too because we had so many elements but we wanted to make sure everything was cohesive. Mixing and mastering was really fun because we're all here in a consolidated space. Constantly watching these Planet Earth videos and, and videos about you know just the planet things we're not used to seeing and seeing it on the screen in the studio definitely helped. But you know the trips to Colorado and trips up north really fulfilled that. And we're all you know super excited about the song and taking so many different elements and watching how they all just work together was really cool. Alien was a really good transition song from origin till now, and like I said, it just set the tone for the rest of the year. And I'm really excited for the new material to come.